to hear Omarosa tell it Donald Trump is a racist. Monster, a book which alleges the president used the N-word. Omarosa, in your book Unhinged, which is coming out tomorrow, you called him on this. He wants to start a race war. Succeeding. He is truly a racist. That is like calling the kettle black. See, there you go with your racist, racist terms. Well, what was that she said about black people? Oh, it's a uh, fired apprentice contestant Omarosa. And I'm not going to ever let anything beat me down. Oh, Omarosa. The feud between the former White House aide and the president has taken over Washington. But are any of the claims in her book true? I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts. Omarosa followed the long tradition of ex-White House employees and published a book about her time in the Trump White House. Unsurprisingly, she claims to have some dirt. She says she heard Trump drop the N-word and use a racial slur against Kellyanne Conway's Filipino husband. There's only one problem. Both people she said Trump insulted are denying it ever happened. Omarosa sourced the N-word claim back to pollster Frank Lutz, who allegedly heard Trump use it when he was making The Apprentice. Except Lutz himself says the claim is quote, flat out false, and that he's never heard Trump say anything like it. And this made Omarosa change her story, claiming again that she'd heard the tape herself. Look, you, were not, you actually heard the tape. I did. So either she's lying now, or she's admitting her book doesn't tell the real story. Then there's Trump allegedly using two slurs to deride George Conway's Filipino background. Conway himself says the claim is, quote, absurd, and that any suggestion Trump used the slurs is preposterous. It seems clear now that Omarosa's unhinged is a lot like Michael Wolf's fire and fury. Lots of claims, but few facts. You don't get it. <laughs> and you don't get yeah, what we're the, talking the, about. I, I, I'm sorry. This is, this is this awkward. Is... You're here on the set with us, but we're done. Michael Wolf, thank you. We're going to go to break now. Bye, everyone. We'll be right back. I think if people want an actually reliable report on what goes on inside the Trump White House, you should wait for Bob Woodward's swing at it this fall. Until then, the media needs to stop jumping all over blatantly false cash grab books just so they can make Trump look worse for a few hours. And now let's go to some of your comments. Oh, bike lock guy. Okay. Steve Smitten comments on our bike lock professor video from last week. He posted a link to a page called Quotes from Capitalists that inadvertently provide support for communism. Well, Steve, communism certainly can't support itself. <laughs> corny, corny joke. Newton Laxton and Matt Hunsaker say that the bike lock professor didn't hit enough people. Newton says he still hasn't hit the right one yet. I assume, Newton, you're talking about Donald Trump. Are, are you one of these people? What would you do if Donald Trump showed up at the Trump? Murder him? We'd have to do him like a Duffy. I'd piss on his leg. Dennis Kozak says, someone should post this guy's name and address so he starts looking over his shoulder for his approaching bike lock. Well, Dennis, doxing people is bad. Don't dox people. Be sure to like us here at the DCNF Presents the Facts and our friends over at American Voices and The Daily Caller. Thanks for watching. <laughs>